Some liberals continue to compare President Trump's firing of FBI Director James Comey to Nixon's Watergate. But journalist Bob Woodward, who helped report the Watergate scandal that eventually led to Nixon's resignation, warned against making such a comparison. This is not yet Watergate, uh, not a clear crime on the Russian issue. Uh, as Senator Warner and others have said, there, there are, uh, you know, a thousand questions and they should be answered. But there's no evidence that President Trump at this point was somehow involved in collusion here. With me now, former Nixon speechwriter Ben Stein. Ben, what do you say? The man who uncovered Watergate, he shuts down this comparison. Do you say it's unfair? Well, first of all, I want to say he didn't uncover Watergate. It was first uncovered by some reporters from the L.A. Times. Second, my, <laughs> one of my best friends in the world is his partner, Bob, Carl Bernstein. So Carl had as much to do with it as Bob did. Third, I want to say there was very, very little close connection of Richard Nixon with the Watergate break-in. But that being said, Bob Woodward, a true genius and a lion of American journalism, a real lion of American journalism, was completely right. There's no crime that's been shown here. There was a break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters. There's no crime here at all. There's just gossip, gossip, gossip. But it's like what Gertrude Stein, my very dear aunt, said about the city of Oakland. When you get there, there's no there there. There's no crime. And by the way, the idea that some vile, filthy person named Mr. Colbert said about how Mr. Trump is just uh, playing, uh, I can't even describe it, so filthy uh, with oh, Mr. Putin uh, is, is, is just nonsense. Uh, Mr. Putin hates Mr. Trump. I, I don't think they like each other very much at all. And th th this comparison is just nonsense. It's like, it's my, it might as well be saying that Trump is of the precursor of zombie apocalypse. It's just something that's not real. <laughs> I, I thought we might get to zombie apocalypse with you. I didn't ha think it would happen so quickly. And by the way, props <laughs> to Carl. That's absolutely true. Bernstein was right in the middle of that, too. Uh, absolutely fabulous reporter. But, you know, why does the media continue with this comparison? And you know it's only going to get louder. In fact, did you know that this week an MSNBC show even did a show from the Watergate Hotel? Well, I know. I, I will tell you. I was interviewed. I own some property at the Watergate, so and I was interviewed from the Watergate for a big show that's going to be on, which I'm not supposed to talk about. But so yeah, they're all over this because they because in the mind of the media, Nixon is a dirty word, and so they want to try to link Trump with that dirty word. I'd like to tell you. I just got back from Greenville, South Carolina, the friendliest, most wonderful town in America, and they are the people who are not screwed up and wrapped around the media's fingers and thumbs are uh, not enemies of Nixon. They're not enemies of Trump. They see the game that the mainstream media is playing, and they're not buying it. So, you know, I think if the election were held tomorrow, Mr. Trump would win by even more, because out there in the real America, not the, not the beautiful people's uh, Georgetown parlor America, I think Trump is still well-liked. And I think out there in the mainstream America, Nixon is still well-liked.